Hi. Um, I got a couple of questions since my last video about the shortcut buttons or uh, actually configuration buttons. And the most questions I got is interested in how to put the different time frames with study or without study in a style of uh, buttons or shortcut buttons to be used uh, to change how the time frame on the chart uh, look like just by one click. Uh, so what I will do is I will show in this video uh, how to do that in the time frame one. Uh, I already mentioned most of the things in the, on my previous video, which I will put the link for it in the top in here. So you can check it later. But we will focus in this one on how to put uh, time frame shortcuts in the shortcut buttons style. So first of all, uh, if you need to know the steps from the start, please check the previous video. But for this one, we'll show, we'll go directly to the time frame setup um, in shortcut buttons style. So we go here in the shortcut buttons bar and we go configuration buttons. Now we know that this take maximum six uh, buttons. So there's already one as trend line. So we can add more uh, whatever drawing uh, tool, study, study set, or style. So what we will do is, now we have this as, uh, say, like uh, three day, one minute time frame. And we want to save this as the same time frame, but in a button style. So we already get it in here, 3D, three days, one minute. Then we're going to go... <clears throat> We will do style, we'll go down and say save style, and we will give it a name. Give it an easy recognizable name, so if you have too many style names, it's easy just to know which one directly you go for it. So I will name this as, uh, say, V, as has a V web chart in there, then 3D, one minute, and this box if you check it it will include the study in here, which is and this chart is only the vweb if you have more like vweb moving average exponential moving average it will include all of them so let's include this as i put the vsv web including the study with it and save now let's move to other different time frames say like um five days five minutes and this is the five day, five minute chart and already has the moving average. Let's save this one without the moving average. It's only the time frame. So we'll go style, save style. And we're gonna do 5D, 5M, let's say A, because I, I have another one of the same name. And I will not include the, the study or the pattern in this one. So only the time frame. We're going to save it. Let's choose another one as, um, say, six months daily. This one. And uh, let's go style, save, and six months. Daily. We're not in code chart. It's already have the web, the vweb, because it's from the previous chart. But sure, you're not going to use the vweb in the daily chart. Save. Then let you choose one with a little bit of, um, say, like more charts on them. Uh, Yeah, so this one, it's uh, five minutes, five days, and has the moving exponential, simple moving, VWAP, and simple VWAP. So this one, I'm going to save it with all these studies. So go again, style, save, and let's give it a unique name, VWAP, ST. 
5B, 5M, all the ST. Okay. And we include for sure the whole studies and save. Okay. Uh, now we already have the studies saved and everything. So when we want to put them in the shortcuts, so the shortcut is basically is whatever you already have and you want to put them on the on the shortcut buttons in here. So we needed to create the, the styles first, the time frames. Basically we're saving the time frame as as a style with the whatever studies or not. Then after we save them, we start adding whatever we have. In previous video, we added trend line, price, uh, point, uh, study only, time frames, whatever. And in this one, we will add the, the time frames we just saved in the same style we saved it at, at the time. So if it's like five days, one minute, exactly like this, with or without the study, and we're going to add them in there. Let's go with this. So now we're going to go configure buttons, add buttons. Now we're going to drop down and go to style and remember how we saved them. So I think we saved them as V. So say V3DM. This is the first one. And second style was V all studies. So another button, I think is uh, V3D1, we already have those and this, and another one, yeah, five days, five minutes, A, yeah, and so on, you get the point. And we can actually add here like um, some, where we have trend line, we can add the, uh, or we can add actually studies, just a regular study, that built-in study from uh, from Thinkorswim, or a study set like VWeb and Moving Average also from Thinkorswim. Let's have this as the fifth one. And we'll click Done. So here's how it is. So now we already added our shortcuts. We can go like, uh, say we're going to choose different Moving Average now, like 10 day, one hour. Because I have this, this just changing that from the the regular time frame favorites. It has nothing to do yet with the shortcut buttons. Now we have this as um, ten days, one hour. Now uh, at some point I want to change it right away and go to one of the my shortcut buttons here. So let's say I want to go to the three day, one minute, and V like V app, whatever I name it. Click here. Here is it. Completely change to whatever you know I wanted there. Then at the same time I want to like change it to you know five days, five minutes. Here is it by one click. Uh, all studies, one click. Okay, so wanna I wanna change that from the time frame now, like so like six months is one day from the regular time frame. And again, if I go back like. Uh, moving every the v web whatever the preset in here where is it oh but this is daily that's why i didn't change let's go one minute and here's it uh five minutes again so you see this is this is pretty useful if you want to just click right away to go to whatever you know i had in preset in here so what i usually do is i keep playing in the middle of the trading day or the time frame whatever i want you know, five days, one hour, you know, daily, 10 days, whatever. But when I want to like set it back as what I usually have, I go from those. That's what I use most. So I'm going to click in here. And if say like you have, uh, <clears throat> say you have like uh, multiple window for the same, uh, for the same uh, stock. Okay. Like say two windows in here. Or uh, let's, you know what? Let's have it like this. Um, sorry. Yeah. And yeah, 
else. So let's add here another tool, say Priceline. So it will be the complete six of them. Done. And you want to add two of them. Okay. Then one once is done. <clears throat> you wanna add say PTI, or you even like it. Uh, if you want to have change in the same time with this, so this link to the red one. So whatever you're gonna change here is gonna change also the other one. See both of them. So let's go back to the same one we had. PTI. Yep. Okay. So now what I do usually, like I have like say uh, say like one minute in here and five minutes in here. Okay. Uh, five do do only five minutes. Okay. And this is my main setup. So three and five. So if I keep changing that, say like I go from the regular one, the daily and 30 day, or, you know, six months daily, whatever. <clears throat> and after I'm done and everything, I want to like, you know, leave that on this, my side screen and keep looking at it, you know, waiting for something to happen up or down, whatever I'm, my setup is. So I leave it to my, you know, my main setup. So I go, you know, 3D one minute and say like 5D five minutes. And I just leave it there. This is whole study because we saved it as whole study from this style. And I just leave it like this. By this way, I have more than, um, you know, more than one screen with a different setup by one click different. And even sometimes I put extra extra, you know, pointers or tools in here, like the trend lines or the price line, so I can quickly go to it, like in here. That's why I go in here. And at the same time, I can do also the, the price line, like see this. Yep. And for sure, it's going to transfer to the other screen because both of them is the same, both of them is linked to the same stock. So by this way, as you see, it's actually considered as a shortcut for faster link, whatever you set up in there. Trend line, time frame, study, whatever you want. Whatever is actually, I think Swim have it as a kind of things you can set up and change it over here. Okay, I hope this show how exactly you can set up this as a time frame and shortcut patterns. Cause look like most of the requests or question I got is mostly focused on the time frame one. And I hope this one explained it in a more easier way. Okay, thank you for watching.